Hey guys, it's Liney Dance Plays, and welcome back to another video. So I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to make a level. So I'm going to show you the whole um, layout of it as well. So at the top panel, you've got all the list of items that you actually use to make your very, very own custom level as well. So if you press the R button, your eraser comes up. So you can either press L or R to get the eraser up. So you can actually hold in A to delete whatever item you want to get rid of. And to add items, what you need to do is press the up button on your D-pad so you can actually cycle through the list of things you want to use for the level. So let's just pick the green tube, shall we? And where shall we place it? So if you move the left stick, you can actually uh, scroll across through the level. Yeah, so let's place this one here, shall we? So let's say if you want to get rid of this because I placed it in wrong place, so what you need to do is press the L or R, you go into the actual eraser and you can actually um, hold in A and rub out the items so it deletes the items that you don't want so to go back into it what you need to do is press any of the directions on the d-pad so in order to go onto the items in the top row so you press the up on the d-pad and then you can cycle through these again so let's go on the green tube and then We'll have that one out as well. So you can actually uh, choose what items you want to put put in it. So we've got the flower, and then we can place it in there. So that's about it. And then um, let's say we don't want that one in there. So and again, you press the R button on your controller, and then hold in A, and then delete the item itself. And to actually uh, play the level, so what you need to do is press the negative button on the joycon or pro controller see there we go so you have a option of editing levels so let's say um you want to get rid of these blocks and try and get the coin there sorry i pressed the capture button by accident right so we're back in um, the actual build screen anyway so so what you need to do is um if you want let's say if you want to move these about you want to put these here so you can actually um hold the a button place them on there and there we go and that's it let's do the same for these shall we and then to play the level you just need to press the negative button again on the pad as well. And to make it even awkward, what you need to do is go back onto the, the item screen and then select. Right, let's say if we want to get rid of the actual platform itself. So what you can actually do is um, delete the ground itself. I'm not going to make it too awkward, but I love to make it awkward when I actually do the build series on these, I should say. And then panel on the right, if you want to try and get to it, what you need to do is press the right on your D-pad. You've got your clear condition. You've got your timer, so you can actually customize your timer. You've got your auto scroll. So basically, um, what the auto scroll does, it scrolls it automatically. So you, it actually forces you to actually progress through the levels. So you've got no option of going back. So let's say you want to go really slow. And then if you press the play, which is the negative button. So let's play the level. Right, let's say I can't even get here. I just want to build a level up. What you need to do is hold the A on your controller. Okay, what am I doing? I'm even taking it off. So what you need to do is hold it down. And then and place it where you want to place. So, And then you can move your cursor around. Which is the left analog stick. So there we go. So I'm just doing this for the purpose of this tutorial, guys. And because I've written over the items that are there, it will just delete them straight away. But if I do try and, like, undo them. So if I go back onto the eraser, I can take them off again. And then if you look there, the, the bricks are not there anymore now. So this is your... This is the three lines which you see on your apps every now and again. So what you need to do... Let's press that and that will take you to your main menu so you've got an option of your course maker your story mode your course world and the course bot as well so yamamura's dojo you got your notifications your settings your play guide so it gives you a guide on how to like play the game itself and then if we press b it will uh, take us out of the menu itself And the rocket it does, it really resets the whole level. So it it wipes out everything or any customizations you do on a level. So let's say if you don't want this level, 
like myself, I don't want this level. I want to get rid of everything. So what you need to do is press the A on the controller itself. Watch what happens. You hold it in for three seconds. And basically you start from scratch again. So what you, in order to get to the course uh, timeline, you press the down on your analog stick. So you got your start position there and then your gold position here. So if you want to move the gold position, press the A on your... Press the A and hold the A on your controller. And then you have an option to extend the course itself. So if you watch this, it's actually moving. And if you want to go to the very, very max, well, there you go. It's there. So it gives you enough room to create whatever levels you want to make. So let's say I'm happy with that. And then what did I say on the left? You've got the game style. You've got the course theme. You've got the auto scroll, which I have shown you before. Your timeout is 300 seconds. I don't know how many is that in a minute. My maths is absolutely terrible. And then you've got clear condition. So the clear conditions, you can actually um, set the conditions. So reach the goal without taking damage. And then reach the goal without landing after leaving the ground. So you've got a choice of conditions you can actually use. And then all of a sudden at the top on your left panel, you've got the game style. So you've got uh, like five choices of the game style you want to actually use. So this is actually set on uh, Super Mario Bros. U. You've got Super Mario World. So if you press Super Mario World, it will load the level from there. So it's based on the ice, ice theme. And then you can choose whatever themes you want out of this. So let's say you want Underground. It will change Underground itself. And if you want the Underwater, it will go Underwater. So it's that simple. Anyone can do it. So... Anyway, guys, I think that's about it. But there's a few more things I've got to show you. There's co-op making. Let's see what that is. Co-op making allows you to work with someone else to make a course. So get together with friends or family and start making, which is really good. And then start making cooperatively. So you can actually um, take it in turns to make a level and work together. But it's really good for, for the family. So let's go back. Right, last one thing I want to go into is... Um, let's go on to the... Left panels, uh, there's one thing that I actually missed out is the Mario's Trail. So you can actually customize the trail itself, co-op mode. So Mario's Trail, you can actually change it. So you can actually leave a trail of Super Mario's everywhere or not have the trails on. And what's this thing? That's the course there. But literally I've shown you everything and this one is save and load. And that's to zoom in a level. So the magnify glass, it'll show you more items and then um, we've got the pipe we've got the steep slope the bridge ground let's go on that yeah so just like I said I'm using this for uh, the purpose of showing the tutorial then so if we press R we can actually uh, cycle through the items itself we, so we got more we got more enemies we got monsters we even got bosses uh, we even got Bowser in this so these are the whole gizmos Gizmos and gadgets, enemies, and then items, and then terrain, and that's about it. Anyway, but I just got to say uh, thank you all for watching, and I did my best to try and show you a lot how to build a level in the game itself. So, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, and hit that notification bell as well. So, don't miss a thing.